and next week. Let me tell you the significance of this, and I'm going to try to do it in four minutes. The significance of this is that every year in January, um, since we opened, there's always something that happens at Finishers Church in January. Uh, there's always a jump that we take um, and, uh, and a jump that we make. And it's always a fake jump that we in, that our territory gets enlarged, uh, our, our church family uh, increases. So there's two times a year, you know how everybody in our personal lives we celebrate different holidays. You know, you have the holidays that you're supposed to celebrate Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving. You know, you don't want to be going into, oh, you don't want to go over to your auntie's house. You'd rather just stay by yourself and watch the, the march of the, what do they call it? The, the march of Woods Old. But you have to because it's a holiday. You know, but then you also have your personal holidays, like your birthday. Like, I don't care what anybody else does. Today is going to be for me. Two, two times a year, we celebrate a finisher's church holiday, okay? One is our anniversary. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm not talking about Easter and, and Christmas. We always celebrate those. But I'm saying two times a year, our anniversary. Uh, that is August 30th, we usually celebrate in September, but then we celebrate in January, okay? So take this not only as something to celebrate as a collective body, but also in your life as well. Perhaps you have not had a personal holiday. Mark this day. Amen. Mark this day. Amen. Now we've been talking about releasing. You say, listen, on Sunday, January 26th, you know, that last Sunday in January, every year for the rest of my life, I'm going to mark this as a new start, as a new beginning. Yes. It's a time where God is going to remind me that he hasn't poured out all the oil. He has not poured out all the anointing oil. Yes. But there's going to be some fresh anointing yes. that's going to come. And I'm going to celebrate that thing every year. So that's what we do. Yes. Last year, of course, we celebrate the fact that we moved from one experience to two experiences. Does that mean that you know that we got to make room for growth? Yes. Praise God, all right? Yes. So on this year, we're going to make another jump. We don't quite know what it is yet, but whatever you want it to be, just plant the seed that, that you get from the Word of God, and, and it's going to harvest and prosper, okay? A couple things happen. People go to hell because Christians won't give. Uh, tweet it. I don't care. I said it in the mic. Quote me. I don't care. Amen. People go to hell because Christians won't give. Why? Because when we give and we're, when we're obedient to the word of God, the church can do more. The church can reach more people. There'll be more meat in the storehouse. Yes. Two, people go to hell because you won't be friendly to people. Yes. And invite them to church. Yes. Let's catch them. God cleans them. Yes. Okay? Amen. You know that girl at your job that you can't stand? <laughs> This is how you're going to tell her on Tuesday when you go back to work. You're like, Suzanne? You don't like me? And I surely don't like you. But the Bible tells me that I have to love you. But I know someone who likes you and loves you. And it ain't me. But it's Jesus Christ. And I don't care what you're going through, Suzanne. Maybe that will explain your nasty attitude. But Jesus Christ wants to meet you at 63 Park Street in Montclair, New Jersey on Sunday, January 26th. Somebody say, hey, Suzanne. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Barrier uh, next week, if you want to stay for both. Remember, I'm not preaching next week. Uh, uh, a buddy of mine, Pastor Jose Vargas from Trenton, is going to be here. We're going to have a good time. All right? We're going to have a good time. And then, of course, our buddy, Pastor Thomas Ransom, is going to be here to lead worship. Now, the first time he came here to lead worship, remember, I took off running. I ran off the front row, all right? Because it's so calm, all right? So it's going to be a great week, okay? It's going to be a great Sunday. You never know who's just waiting for you to invite them. Let's do our part, okay? Praise God.